The third video in our series covering the canons of rhetoric is an overview of the canon of style. The canon of style provides you with guidelines for effectively using language in your speech. It makes sense that we cover style after invention and organization because you need to know what you're going to say and how you want to organize those words before you focus on the specific words you want to use to connect with your audience. Thus, the sooner you start working on your speech assignments, the sooner you can move through those first two canons, and the sooner you can start thinking about the language choices you're making and how you can use language to build interest and excitement about your speech. You'll learn more about how to utilize stylistic language in your speeches when we cover Chapter 13, Choosing Effective Language. For now, it is important to know a few general ideas concerning language use so that your first few speeches can be as strong as possible. First you want to make sure that you are choosing words that your audience will know. If you speak above your audience you might come across as stuck up, your audience might not understand your message, and they might not like you. If you speak below your audience you might run the risk of insulting them. Thus it is important to know who is in your audience so you can choose the right words when delivering your speech. Second, don't use jargon if you aren't speaking to an audience who will understand that jargon. Students in CJ202 come from a wide variety of majors, so there is no guarantee that your audience will know what you know. Thus, consider how you can use language to make the message accessible to all audience members. Finally, although you will want to adopt a conversational tone while, when speaking, you don't want to use offensive language, even if you and your peers feel that it is acceptable to use in your day-to-day -day conversations. You never know when an audience member might fear a, find a swear word or derogatory statement offensive. Thus, it is important for you, that you pay close attention to the language you use as you prepare your messages for the audiences you'll encounter as a public speaker.